Hi, my name is Tori, and it's Christmas Day uh, here in the East at 10 p.m., a little after 10, and I would like to uh, say thank you so much to people, to people I love so dearly, Alexandra and Stephen Maders of GalacticConnection.com, and um, I would like to offer my testimony about uh, the Galactic Essences. And um, they have really helped me out a lot. And uh, this one was called Untouchable. And this is what they look like. And they come. And uh, Alexandra uh, is, um, I guess, master. The word is master. I hate labels. But master alchemist. And alchemy has been in her past in many, many lifetimes. And uh, it's just amazing what Stephen, and Stephen has invented all these incredible uh, devices, inventions uh, for, related to healing and DNA. And um, he actually mostly created them in his former lifetimes, and he's been perfecting them over and over again. And, um, but the untouchables, um, because what you do is you take them, and they say you'd put them under your tongue, and, and uh, normally that's the way I take them. But my astral body started growing. And if those of you who don't know me, I'm based, I always call myself an extension cord because uh, God's energy comes down through my head, heart, and hands and goes out of my hands. I work with zero point energy. And I call it that because we pull it down through the zero point. And um, what happens is both of my hands go like this and they create two tornadoes that will go together. And the energy flows through my head, heart, and hands. It becomes these wild tornadoes, and it's very focused. And it's wonderful because zero-point energy, you can use it to cleanse the negative energies out of foods, water, the air, out of people, out of your homes, anything. And it's wonderful. But when I took Untouchable, you know, because a lot of, I just found out the name of the way they come into our home. It's called Temporal Bodies. And people like, you know, President Bush and everybody had them. There were, I don't even know how many. And that's how they would come in and they could pick you up and throw you across the room. And, and all these horror movies where they make, where somebody picks up and throws across the room, that's not a ghost because a ghost can't pick you up. That's really a temporal body. And they come into our homes and beat us up and rape us and all that stuff. But the, when I would use uh, Untouchables, my astral body grew to like 100 feet tall, and I felt like a giant. And I was like, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. And I was looking down, and I could see the treetops in my neighborhood, which they're actually close to 90 feet tall, so I must have been even taller. And it was wonderful. And it really helped me. And then she also created another one. I want to make sure I get the names right. The Light Warrior Mission. Light Warrior Mission. Um which I absolutely loved, and quite honestly, I don't. I just know that they've helped me so much. And uh, the Light Warrior mission um, was uh, really its primary thing that it did for me was it helped me clean because they put all horrible energies in me. In fact, I don't know. This is a cheap computer. I don't know if you can see my arm. I know it's probably very poor quality, uh, but these sores are from the weapons grade anthrax and 11 other deadly toxic chemicals that they injected me every few minutes uh, over and over thousands and thousands of times uh, they inject these horrible chemicals and that's how they do it they use their temporal body they can have a weapon and then they come into our home 90 percent of american homes have been invaded by temporals and it's really a person that uh... is in a next dimension but they're really a person behind the person. So in other words, it's like one of those, remember those video games where they put on the goggles, like a, some kind of, I forget what they're called, reality machine. I don't forget, I don't do video games. But that's basically it. And they come in and they bring weapons and stuff, and these have helped me so much. But I want to show you how powerful. This one, and I always have trouble with the name, it's crystallizing the totality within. How about that? I finally got it right after all this time. And this one is so powerful. Look, I'll take it on my solar plexus. Watch. Ha! And what it did was it just wiped out a huge amount of energy and uh, that they put in me constantly. And then I like to put it over my um, galactic chakras, on my third eye. And I usually just hold it down my throat ha! and go over my heart and then down to the root, the root chakra. 
And then, you know, of course, I take some. I usually take it in the morning because it helps me get through the day. But uh, they're just, and they're so inexpensive. And I just absolutely love them. And I hope that, and you know what you can do too? Because if you want to, you know, because I, I go to a healthcare professional and she tests every medicine on me before I would take it. She will not sell people. Well, they're probably homeopathic medicines and other terms for them. I call it medicine. But this uh, wonderful person will test you to see if you should be taking that. And that's what I would suggest that you do. Because you could write down the name of it and do whatever you do, like a pendulum or use your hands like I do. A lot of times, you know, I'll hold up, let's say this is a, a banana. Like one time I had a banana and I ate it and I was sick for a week because it has so many deadly GMO chemicals in it. And so what I do is I say, okay, God, um, if this is good for me, uh, let me know. And my hands will immediately go to it. But if I say, okay, God, is this food good for me? My hands will pop. And immediately, so that's one of my testing methods. And you could try that or do your own. A lot of people like pendulums. But this, God, is crystallizing the totality within. And you can see by my face how rough it's been. It has been horrific. And Father God has been closing down all the temporal uh, factories, so to speak. Actually, they're my labs and other locations. They had one in the Vatican and they were all shut. Father God destroyed all of these facilities today and um, sending this energy through me. We're throwing energy balls at them and um, it was just absolutely wonderful because these are the ones, these temporals are really an extension of the person and um, this is what's been just destroyed over the past few hours. All, all these facilities, they can't make them anymore. I love you so much. Thank you so much, everyone, for all the prayers and the support. I love all of you. And I love you, Alexandra and Stephen. Thank you.